Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia, and welcome. So here I am in this amazing part of France called Sarlat. And the reason why I'm here is because I'm actually not here doing any gigs or touring or anything like that, but my partner, who is a painter, is running a painting retreat in this part of the world. So this is where I am. I've taken a holiday. I had nothing else to do, so I thought I'd come here and just hang out and just enjoy this incredible scenery, which I'm right now trying my best to share with you. So that's why I'm here. I'm enjoying myself, having a very relaxing time. I've taken a few weeks off drumming. Um, I've really just been photographing and taking videos. And the rest of the time, eating. I've done a lot of eating. Anyway, let's crack on with this video. So I want to begin by saying that this video is actually aimed towards students, especially students who are really keen on having a career in playing music and a career in playing the drums. It's also directed towards drum teachers and, you know, examines to some degree the relationship between a drum student and their teacher. And I know this because I've had good experience at being both. So on a number of occasions I've had students ask me, you know, how do I get gigs? How do I break into the music scene? And so this is really for them. I need to answer this question because if you have a drum teacher, then what's likely to happen is that your drum teacher is actually going to be the best agent you could ever imagine. See, from a drum teacher's perspective, uh, I get to see the most important part of a student, which is their attitude. I get to see if a student turns up on time, I get to see if the student is prepared, has practiced what they need to practice. If a student is paying fees every week, then does the student turn up with their money? And does the student just basically have a positive attitude to what it is that they're trying to do, what they're trying to practice, what it is that they're trying to achieve? Attitude is everything, and your teacher is going to see you do this. So your teacher is really going to be the person that's going to give you a push along, help you out, get gigs, invite you to gigs, get you to meet people. So if you're a student that's really serious about, you know, wanting to break into the music scene, your teacher is really going to be able to help you out with this. So just keep those things in check. Your attitude, turn up on time, turn up prepared. Don't forget your books, don't, don't forget your sticks, don't forget your money. Be like practice, like the most important thing is to practice and, 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 and show that you're really willing and keen to, to have a career in this industry because you know it is, uh, it's a little tough but I've been in it for 40 years and I've had the greatest time, you know, I'm loving it. Occasionally I get to travel and do things like this. When I was a student, my teacher Frank Corniola used to organise a lunch every Christmas and all of his students would be invited to his lunch which would allow students to meet each other. Because I was 15 at the time, I was getting to meet students who were older than me and that were doing gigs and certainly gigs that were different to the ones that I was doing. And in addition to inviting all of his students, he would also invite professional drummers. So it was at one of these luncheons that I got to meet Virgil Donati and that was an incredibly inspiring experience for me because I was a fan and uh, still am and went on to study with him. So anything that would allow some inspiration in the form of bringing students into your environment to meet other students and basically just get them inspired is also really important. Wow, I just walked up some steps. I've eaten way too much. I'm so out of shape. I need to get back to the gym. Another good friend of mine and a name that you've heard me talk about on this channel a lot is Peter Blick. Every so often, Peter would organise a meal at his place. It's usually a lunch and he'll invite, you know, some select students, you know, the students that show the right attitude. And so there may be about four or five students. And then in addition to that, he'll invite people like me and other friends and drummers who are professionals. And, you know, it's, it's really just a way of encouraging and inspiring these young students to follow their dreams, you know, because it's, it's a pretty hard industry. So next time a student asks you, how do I get gigs? How do I break into the scene? 
Remember that you as a teacher have full view of their professional attributes and it all comes from attitude. Do they turn up on time? Are they prepared? Have they practiced? Are they positive about what's going on? When I was 19 years old and in my third and final year of college, I was studying music. I started to get a little concerned about graduating and having to find my way in the world as a professional drummer. At this time I was having lessons with Virgil Donati and on one of those lessons I asked Virgil, hey, how do I break into the scene? You know, how can you help me? And his reply was, you have nothing to worry about. You've got the right attitude and the right approach. There was part of me that was a little disappointed, you know, I was hoping he'd give me a whole bunch of phone numbers, but he didn't. Anyway, three years later, he offered me the gig that pretty much launched my professional career, and especially the area of my career that I really wanted to get into. So when I was 22, in 1989, Virgil was playing drums on a Live to Wear TV show. He asked me if I could dep for him, and I'd never set foot inside a TV studio before, let alone being in an environment where I was playing live to air television with a click, having to read and playing Virgil's drums. And that was the tough bit because Virgil's drums were sort of enclosed in a very small booth and um, I couldn't really adjust anything. But it was an incredible opportunity and again I believe that that opportunity came about because Virgil was able to recognise my attitude and recognize what it was that I brought to a lesson every week. You know, he gave me incredible things to practice and I would practice them because, you know, I respected him so much. Still do. So that in itself is proof that a teacher can recognize the attributes that a student has and can pass on work to you. Because when you think about it, I mean, I get offered a lot of work, but I can't do all of it and I don't want to do all of it. So I'm more than happy to pass it on to a well-deserving student, someone who has the right attitude and someone who really wants the gig. Not long after I got my big break, thanks to Virgil, a couple of years later my first drum teacher, Frank Corniola, kind of created this drumming empire in Australia, which included opening up a great drum shop with a teaching facility. He employed me to teach there, which was a real honour. Then in addition to that, Frank also started the Ultimate Drummers Weekend, which I got to perform at several times. And he also started up the great drumming magazine in Australia called Drum Scene, which I've featured in and contributed towards um, in so many ways. So again, there's that teacher-student relationship flourishing into a career. You get it, don't you? You understand what's going on here. So I'm sure you understand my point if you're a teacher or a student, and I'm really keen to hear what thoughts you have on this. So please feel free to leave comments in the description underneath this video. I'm uh, interested to know about your own careers and if you're a drum teacher, how you're helping the careers of your student. As Dave Weckl said in his Back to Basics video all those years ago, there's room in this scene for everybody. So stay positive and um, hang in there and work hard. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video. Until then, have a great time. I'm going to enjoy this incredible scenery and, uh, and food as well, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.